I'm just I'm down here to uh, I, I was sent down here um, looking to have some fun and we had a really good day today and uh, yeah we'll see what happens. Do you have any sense as, as to whether there's a path for you to return to the Sharks? And do you want to return to the Sharks, or is your main goal just to get back to the NHL no matter where that might be? Um, I think there's a, we have a good plan in place. I'm not going to get into that uh, too much, um, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. And what do you think you need to show people, um, whether it's the Sharks or another organization, to get back to the NHL? No, I'm, I, I came in today uh, the same person, uh, same teammate, same player that I was, um, and everything went great. Um, I think there's been a lot of uh, misinformation um, that's been said, but uh, you know, I can only control how, how I act and, and what I do uh, here, and uh, that's what I'm doing. The misinformation, did that hurt you? Did he, did he, did he, what was your reaction when you talked to him? Oh, I mean, it, it, it's, it, it, it's half my whole career, man. We'd, we'd be here all day if I, if I got into it. You had it throughout this whole process. Was there any time you did some soul searching on your part just to reflect on what's been going on? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, there's been a lot of different uh, changes, good changes for me uh, in my life. It maybe doesn't appear that way, but uh, you know, I, I at the end of the day, there's there's hockey and then there's life, and you have to make uh, certain decisions that, um, you know, maybe from uh, you know being a being a public figure, um, you know, obviously you have a little bit more attention uh, than maybe some other people. So um, obviously, there's been. Uh, some tough things to deal with uh, personally, but uh, I think we're in a really good spot now. Andrew, you, uh, you reported that you had submitted a fake vaccine card to the International Hockey League. Can you, can you say if that was accurate and what were some of the reasons that you did that? Yeah, uh, I, you'll, you'll have to refer to the uh, NHL statement uh, that they put out via the suspension. You know, I, uh, Served my time, uh, did my 21 games, and now I'm back. I guess, was there some hesitancy, vaccine hesitancy on your part? You know what, I'm fully vaccinated, uh, and, and that's all I have to say about it. Do you feel like you're, or how do you feel like you've been skating, just getting back to me, getting back to me? I feel good, I've been skating for the last three weeks here, so um, I feel good, I had a few days off uh, recently, but uh, yeah, I feel really good. Uh, it was nice to get out with the guys, and. Pass the puck and shooting a couple of goalies uh, for the first time in a little bit, but um, no conditioning's great. Uh, feel good, feel ready. How have those first initial conversations been with Roy and some of the third the three times? Oh, Roy, uh, we had Roy a couple of years ago as an assistant, uh, so so I know Roy. He's really easy to get along with, and um, you know we had a few good laughs uh, this morning. And, um, like I said, it's the first day, but it's uh, it's been fun so far. Have you spoken or heard from any of the Sharks players at all during this time? No, I, I've been doing my own thing, uh, getting myself prepared, um, and handling my business as I'm sure they have. And did you did, did you get any sense there was an issue last year in the dressing room? No, it was. Uh, I mean, the, I, I don't think uh, you're going to have a group of people for. Oh, I mean, it was COVID last year, short season, 150 days, 160 days, get along perfectly. Um, but I think there's been a big misconception of uh, the entire team or. Or multiple players. I think it's um, you know it's funny. You know, I had my video meeting last year, and it was nothing but positive, 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 and, and how great uh, I was with the young guys, and you know how great the season I had. But uh, you know, apparently something happened in the summer that I was unaware of. So it was all it was all new to me and, and news to me. So um, it was interesting. How are you willing to be down? At some point, obviously, you have the talent to be in the NHL last year. So, Thank you. Um, <laughs> how long are you willing to? to um, I am. Uh, I'm under contract with the Sharks. They've sent me down. I have uh, shown up and uh, will continue to show up. And um, I look forward to uh, whatever is to come here in the next uh, week or so. And you got a free team, you know, off that trade clause. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to just expand that? Um, you know, I have that in there for a reason. Um, and uh, you know, that's my uh, right. And um, you know, I'll let my agent and them handle that part, but uh, no, if, uh, you know, that's, uh, it's definitely nice to, to have that in my contract because it, uh, it is important. You mentioned you're in a better place now. What, what, what got you here as far as just working with uh, Ben Bennister, what was, what was No, 
I mean, you know, I filed for bankruptcy last year. I had my best season ever. Um, touched on that a little bit uh, last year. You know, personal issues and, and, and my job don't go hand in hand. Um, I'm able to kind of block that out and do my best on the ice to perform at a high level, which I've proven to do so. And I think for me, um, you know, when you're going through certain issues, they just take time and, and you can't control that. So I've just been going with the process with some of those issues or not even issues necessarily, but just things that happen in life. And uh, it's just time. Tomorrow, young guys on this team work. Is anybody in all of you today walking around the house? John Leonard. John Leonard was always sitting beside him in the room. He was actually uh, my stall mate. I don't know. Like, uh, Magna had to pick up his jaw off the floor, so he was, uh, he was really happy to see me. <laughs> you were speaking a lot of the time, I saw just trying to change. What's kind of the. Trying to get him to work harder. I'm just kidding. No, no, he's, uh, he's such a good, he's a good player. And, um, we were just talking, fun guy to be around. Well, how well do you think it might take you to get the game shape to start to create a third game out of the game this weekend in Abbotsford? No possibility. Yeah, I won't be going to Abbotsford um, for playing those games, but uh, in terms of my condition and shape. I mean, you can really only be in game shape by playing games. Um, but in terms of next best thing, I think I'm right there. So like I said, I've been skating for the last three weeks and uh, I feel good. The off the field stuff that you talked about. Is that ice, part of, off the ice off stuff. The yeah, excuse me. Um, uh, is that part of the uh, misinformation that you talked about? And do you have any other comment on that? Well, yeah, I mean, part of that is, um, you know, and I get it, you know, Certain media, they like to make it about uh, the juicy stuff that um, is always alleged or whatever it may be, but there's never the re same reporting with the same conviction uh, about facts. So, you know, some of that stuff kind of gets taken out of context and the narrative gets skewed and um, details get lost. So, you know, that can be frustrating. I think anybody in that position uh, can understand that. But, um, you know, like I said, it's part of the process. It's part of uh, the job I do. So um, I don't let it bother me or affect me. Just a quick follow-up, Bender. I mean, we may have touched on it earlier, but to what extent? I mean, what do you want the fans to know about? Uh, to what extent some of these personal things might be a distraction for you wherever you end up? Well, I, I mean, for crying out loud, I filed. I think I filed for bankruptcy like a week before the season started. So I don't know how much more of a personal distraction I'd be for myself. I don't know about the team. I don't know what that would affect anybody else. But um, like I said, I, I'm able to. Uh, handle my business and on and off the ice. And that's what I've proven to do. That's what I'll continue to do. And um, when it comes to the, I don't even understand your question really. Well, just like these distractions, are you able to stay focused on hockey and your career with like this other stuff going on? Yeah, I, I mean, I had my best season last year, right? So um, I've been dealing with a, a lot of things throughout my career and I've been able to stay focused on the ice. I think, uh, you know, I pride myself in uh, bringing something to each and every game. Obviously, you're not going to score every game, but bringing something positive to the team um, to give ourselves the best chance to win, and I'll continue to do that. There were some pretty serious hockey allegations against you in terms of the betting and throwing, throwing games. Did you, when you saw that, obviously, I know you denied that. When you saw, did you have to reach out to people and say, hey, this is not true? Or were you, how did you no. know how much that hurt just to do that? You know, it, it's, it's unfortunate. Um, you know, we live uh, in a world right now where um, you can accuse somebody of, of literally anything, whether you know them, whether you've seen them. Uh, you, you can say anything and it affects people, especially people in, um, you know, positions of uh, power, people that are public figures and, and obviously uh, people who are in sports like myself. And obviously I understood the seriousness of those allegations um, right away. Um, it was definitely uh, surprising to see, um, but I, I, I genuinely was not worried one bit about it because they were obviously false. It was obviously, um, for me, uh, uh, certain motives behind that, but um, that didn't really make a lot of sense at the time. But um, yeah, it, it, uh, it wasn't something I lost any sleep over. It was definitely not great to be associated with that um, at the time, but uh, you know the league investigated me heavily, and I you know I interviewed a bunch of different people, and you know found what they found, which is nothing. So 
Do you have to reach out to people to, to, to say, hey, this is not friendly, or is your statement enough? No, I, 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 I think, you know, anybody who's played with me or coached me knows how competitive I am, almost to a fault sometimes, so that would probably be the last thing uh, anybody would suspect. Any more questions? All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.